Mike, uh, you've got uh, Famishon in the English bonus handicap over 1,700 metres and a good first up at Seymour. Yeah, look, we brought him back for, to try and give him his chance to make it a derby. He's um, sort of had a brief break during winter, um, thinking that that was what, uh, yeah, he was our derby horse. So it's his first uh, chance to get over a bit more ground, and he's a lovely horse, and uh, being a Galileo mare, he should really stay, so this will be his first test. Do you reckon he can step up to uh, his uh, big test? I think so. Look, the four round was very good. Um, look, the only question mark I've got over him is I left him a colt. Uh, whereas he's not colty, he's <coughs> pretty casual in his work and that. So just hope he doesn't start doing that race day. But look, his runs have been really good. He's been following the line strongly um, in all his runs. And if you uh, go through this race well, is it it's a type that you can go to a guineas or you said you just want to keep that option over yeah. for the derby? No, look, it'll be towards it. We'll give a derby preparation to see you know, we, how far we can get. Then uh, you've got Octavia. She comes into the uh, series heats two stakes over 1,200 metres and comes back to Caulfield where she loves this track. Yeah, she does. It's come off a pretty tough run um, here over 1,400 metres where she got taken on a little bit in front and it is a tough 14 here. Um, we've kept it fresh. And she's drawn barrier one and loves Caulfield, but um, you know, we're, we're well aware she's got a pretty tough run. You say that when she came to 1400, would she just not handle it or she goes back to a preferred distance of 1200? Look, I, I think she still will get 14, but probably more so around Caulfield. Um, Flemington here, uh, we were sort of forced to lead from that draw. We drew wide. Uh, like on Saturday, if they want to go too quick, we'll just drop it in trail from one. Um, but we didn't really have much option here when she flew the gates, she was the leader and then she just got taken on badly after they got a couple of furlongs and something was eyeballed her that was going pretty hard. Uh, just didn't give her enough chance to relax for long enough and I thought there was a lot of merit in the run and I still think around Caulfield, um, you know, where you can lead and win, um, would be a, a better, should be a better chance here. Any 1400 metre races you could see her in? Oh look, there's another Mears race coming up over 14 so... There's a chance that we might run on that, but we'll just see what she does Saturday first. There's a mayor's race on uh, Caulfield Cup Day. Would that be one that you'll be looking at? That's a possibility, yeah. Then you've got Rhythm to Spare and the Roy Higgins and uh, Wiley Dalziel, Dalziel handicap over 1,400 metres. Yeah, look, he's a lightly raced horse that has been quite a slow maturer. Um, we were trying to head him towards New Zealand Derby and he kept going Shinsaw. We brought him across here. Um, his record here has been really good. Uh, one of them, he ran second at Hawkespur uh, up, in, up in Queensland. He's come off a really strong first up win, and it's a step up in class, but look, we think he's up to it. So, a um, bit of a tricky barrier, that's going to be the only thing, but that's going to be Boss's job to make sure he gets the right run. You do say he steps up, but he's been around these Group 3 and a Group 1 where he uh, ran behind Hawkespur, but uh, he's been pretty handy in his races, so you think he could step up to the occasion again? Yeah, we think he can. Um, he's a horse that we really think at some stage is going to be uh, featuring some of these bigger races and uh, he's not going to have a heavy spring I wouldn't think because he still looks as by the autumn he'll be a better horse. What distance can we see him getting up to during the spring? Oh, look we might even keep him back to a mile um, look safely through this and if he went well enough we'd head towards the Turak. Then you've got Zabisco and the naturalism stakes over 2,000 metres. Yeah look um, he sort of had to take a step up to these spring sort of horses and that, and uh, the horse looks terrific, he's going well. Um, Saturday's going to be the, be the chance to do that. Uh, he's had enough racing under his belt now to, to be fit enough. Um, thought he was half a run away still last start, but he's done a fair bit of work in between, so he's going to be as ready as we can get him for Saturday. Those last two starts, we don't look back at them, we just look forward now? Yeah, we do. Uh, both were, were pass marks just. Um, but again, I, I really thought this fitness levels weren't quite 100%, but they certainly are now. The best out of the four for the weekend, Mike? Yeah, I would think Rhythm Despair, what would be much between them and Octavia.